Okay, now I've got my server. I'm going to download and install the Zabbix repository on it. I'm going to go to the Zabbix download page and install Zabbix server from packages. Okay, so I'm on the Zabbix download page. I have the Zabbix packages tab selected. If I scroll down, I can choose my platform. So I'm installing Zabbix 6 LTS on Ubuntu 20.04 MySQL and Apache. Now it's important that you select the correct combination here because when you change it, for example, if I click CentOS, the install instructions down the bottom are changed. Same with Oracle Linux or Debian, for example, Raspberry Pi OS, or even Ubuntu on ARM64 architecture. So be aware of that, okay? You can also change the version. So here, if I click 18.04, shows up down here, 18.04, 16, for example. So just be sure of what operating system you have. One way to check that is when you're logged onto your server, you can type hostname CTL like that it says here i'm using ubuntu 20.04 lts and architecture x8664 okay so i'm using that one 20.04 okay so it's now time to copy the commands so first one wget i'm downloading the debian package from this address zabbix 6 ubuntu zabbix release 6.01 ubuntu 20.04 Go into your SSH session, right click, and it should paste all that into the window there. So just press enter. Okay, so that's downloaded the repository, and that's okay. Next command is to install it using the Debian Package Manager, because I'm using Ubuntu. It uses the Debian Package Manager. Okay, I means install. That's the file that I just downloaded then, so enter. Okay, it's unpacked. And now run apt update so that the package manager that Ubuntu is using is aware of all the versions that I've just downloaded. Okay, done. Now, just to be sure that that worked correctly, we can just double check the apt references the correct versions. So if I just copy that there and do apt search Zabbix server, it's now telling me that it's aware of Zabbix server MySQL and Postgres SQL, but I'll be installing the MySQL. So focal 160 Ubuntu 20.04 AMD 64. Okay, so not ARM 64 because I'm on a Intel AMD. Excellent. Okay, so I recommend using Ubuntu like I am throughout the course so that what you see matches but later on you can install on any other compatible operating system if you want to. Excellent. Also note that I have chosen Ubuntu 20.04. At the time of creating this video, 22.04 LTS has not been released, but it is very soon to be. So if the option is there, then you can choose that option also. I will update my documentation in the course to support any changes for 22.04. Excellent.